Hello students, this is Dr. Anita Raj welcoming you for one more session in coordination chemistry. In today's session, we shall see the different types of isomerisms, specifically structural isomerism found in coordination compounds. First of all, you should know what is isomerism. Okay? So isomerism, what is isomerism? The, the phenomenon in which two or more substances having same molecular formula but different physical and chemical properties due to different arrangements of atoms is known as isomerism. Understood? See, uh, two or more substances will be having the same molecular formula, but they will be differing in the physical and chemical properties. And that's because of the different arrangements of atoms. Okay? So, that is known as isomerism. Right? See, this isomerism is of uh, two types, structural isomerism and stereoisomerism. Okay? Structural isomerism and stereoisomerism. So, what do you mean by structural isomerism? See, two or more complex compounds. Actually, we are seeing the isomerism in coordination compounds, right? So, what, uh, what is structural isomerism in coordination compounds? See, when two or more coordination compounds have same molecular formula, but they differ in the structural arrangements, okay? So, okay, that phenomenon is structural isomerism. Then, what comes stereoisomerism? See, when two or more complex compounds are having the same molecular formula, but different spatial arrangement, okay? So, different spatial arrangement of the atoms or molecules, okay? So, we call that a stereoisomerism, right? See, uh, yeah, under structural isomerism, we are having four types. The first one is linkage isomerism, second one is ionization isomerism, third one is coordination isomerism and the fourth one is solvate or hydrate isomerism. Understood? So, four different categories are there under structural isomerism. Whereas, under stereoisomerism, we are having two types. One is geometrical isomerism and the second one is optical isomerism. Understood, students? So, in this session, we are going to see the structural isomers and different types of structural isomerism with different examples. Understood? The next, we shall see the types of structural isomerism. The first one is linkage isomerism. Okay. What do you mean by linkage isomerism? See, this isomerism arises when the ligands are ambidentate in nature. What do you mean by ambidentate? See, when the ligands are having two different atoms available for coordinating with the central metal ion, then we call that ligands as ambidentate ligand. Okay. See, uh, see for example, NO2, NO2, then SCN. See, all these uh, uh, ligands, these are all ligands. See, here this N can also act as a donor atom and the O can also act as a donor atom. Here also S can act as a donor atom and N can act as a donor atom. So, in one isomer, so based on the attachment, okay, based on the type of our donor atom, the isomers will be differing, okay. See, in one isomer, one donor atom will be, uh, uh, one donor atom of the ligand coordinates with the central metal atom. While in the next isomer, the second donor atom will be coordinating with the central metal ion. okay. For example, I have taken an example here. See, this is pentaamine nitrocobalt 3 ion. Okay. See, here, see the structure. This is one isomer and this is another isomer. See, both are having the same molecular formula. Understood. See, how many amines are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. What's the central metal atom? Okay. Uh, this is CO, cobalt. Here also central metal atom, cobalt. Now, say another ligand is NO2. Here also NO2. So, the molecular formula will be the same. But the arrangement will be, the linkage will be differing, okay. See, in NO2, in NO2, in both nitrogen and oxygen can coordinate with the central atom. Thus, we get two isomers which exhibits linkage isomerism, okay. See, here in pentamine nitro-cobalt-3 ion, the nitrogen of NO2 is getting linked with or it gets coordinate with the cobalt. Whereas, in the second one, pentamine nitrito-cobalt-3 ion, the oxygen of NO2 is getting coordinated with the uh, central metal ion. Understood. So, although both pentamine nitro cobalt 3 ion and pentamine nitrito cobalt 3 ion contains NO2 group, yet they differ in the colors. Okay, they differ in the colors. The, this one is that is the first one that is a formula. This one is having yellow, okay, yellow brown color. This is having yellow brown color, whereas the later one, this one is having a red color, 
okay so and this yellow colored uh, pentamine nitro cobalt 3 ion is stable towards acids okay whereas this one gets decomposed and it gives nitrous acid understood so thus uh, depending upon the uh, uh, nature of coordination uh, that is depending upon the donor atom which gets coordinated with the central metal atom uh, the isomers differ so this is called the linkage isomerism was understood See, the second one is a solvate or hydrate isomerism. When the solvate or hydrate isomerism occurs, see when the complexes that differ in the number of water molecules present as ligands, either inside the coordination sphere or as free molecules outside the coordination sphere exhibit solvate or hydrate isomerism. See, the solvate isomerism depends upon the water molecules. Okay, the presence or the position where the water molecule is present in the ligands. Okay, see I have, uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, let me give an example, a molecular formula, crcl 3 6H2. Okay, see this is the general molecular formula. But this, using this, we are, it's possible to have three isomers. Okay, three isomers are possible. See here in the first isomer, Cr H2O six times and the Cl3 is placed outside the coordination sphere. Okay, coordination sphere. This is called as coordination sphere or coordination entity. Okay, see here water molecules. All the six water molecules, six water molecules are placed inside the coordination sphere. Check the second one. Five H2O five uh, H2O is present inside the coordination sphere and one is placed outside. And from the Cl3, one chlorine is placed inside the, in order to compensate okay because one water molecule has gone out so in order to compensate uh, the ligand uh, one chlorine uh, atom has gone inside okay and cl2 is present outside see the next category next isomer see here h2o four times okay tetra aqua is here and two molecules of water has gone out and instead in order to compensate this two cl2 okay uh, two chlorine uh, atoms have come inside as a ligand see the uh, name of this Hexa aqua, okay, hexa aqua chromium 3 chloride. This is penta aqua, okay. This chlorine is pre present inside the coordination sphere, that's why it is called as chlorido, okay. If it is placed outside, we call that as chloride. Since it is placed inside, we call that as chlorido chromium 3. Then again, here we are having two molecules of chlorine, so chloride. Then one molecule of water is there, so monohydrate, okay. Check the next one. Tetra, tetra aqua, dichlorido, chromium 3, then chloride, dihydrate, two molecules of water present. Okay, so depending upon the presence of water molecules inside the coordination sphere or outside the coordination sphere, we, we have different types of isomers and that's why the complexes show solvate or hydrate isomerism, understood. See here, these uh, isomers will be having different colors also. See the first one, it is having a violet color, okay, and the second one is having a blue green, it is having a blue green color, and this one is having a dark green, okay, it is having a dark green, understood. See these isomers, they differ from each other in the number of water molecules coordinated to the central chromium, okay, chromium atom, they possess different colors, understood. See the next type that is coordination isomerism. How when this coordination isomerism occur? See this type of isomerism is shown by the coordination compounds in which both positive and negative parts are present as complex ions. See here already we know in a coordination compound. See for example let me take K4FeCN6. Okay. See whenever we are taking a coordination compound, we will split this and we will take the first part as a positive part and the second part as a negative part, is it not? See here, in coordination isomerism, how the isomers uh, occur is, see the, uh, both the positive part and the negative part will be existing as complexes. See here, here in this case, only the negative part is existing as the complex, is it not? But in the case of coordination isomerism, both the parts will be acting as a complex ions, okay? And the isomerism arises due to the interchange of ligands between the positive and the negative coordination spheres. Okay, see here, this we call this as coordination sphere. Is it not? Since it is kept inside the square bracket, we call that as coordination sphere or coordination entity. So, when this coordination isomerism occurs, 
when the coordination compound both the parts positive and the negative part are present as complex ions and also there will be interchange of ligands between the positive and the negative coordination spheres when there is interchange of ligands then the coordination isomerism occurs i can explain this with the examples okay let us check the first one see here the, in this in this see here this cobalt is linked with uh, six molecules of ammonia okay and this chromium is linked with three molecules of oxalate okay see here we should not think that this is a separate uh, coordination compound and this is a separate one no both this together we, it's a coordination compound where the first entity is also a complex and the second positive part is also a complex and the negative part is also a complex understood so together we call this as a coordination compound and what is the how come the isomer coordination isomer will be what happens is there will be interchange of this what happens the interchange of this ligand so this ammonia will be going here and this oxalate will be coming here check the next isomer or check the isomer of this one see here with this chromium oxalate is present is it now here chromium ammonia okay nh3 amine is there six am amine now along with this cobalt here in the first isomer uh, six uh, amine am 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 ammonia or amine group is there whereas here in uh, cobalt we are having three molecules of oxalate ion okay so that due to the interchange of the ligands between the central metal atom of the complexes we get the coordination isomerism see i have given the next uh, three examples i have given so check the second one cobalt see this cobalt is linked with or coordinated with six molecules of amines whereas this chromium is linked with six molecules of uh, six uh, six times a cyanide okay see the next the isomer of this compound see here this chromium will be linked with ammonia is it not and the cobalt will be linked with cyanide check the next compound students copper is linked with uh, four uh, four times ammonia whereas platinum with uh, chlorine four uh, cl4 okay so next the uh, um, uh, what to say the isomer the positive part is having platinum with ammonia four times and copper will be having cl4 so there will be interchange of ligands between the complexes understood so in all these cases ligands have been changed with the coordination spheres okay in the last also you can clearly see why right? does the ligands coordinated with copper and platinum has been changed here is it not so i i think you might have understood now what is coordination isomerism right see the last type students ionization isomerism see one this ionization isomerism occurs when coordination compounds with same molecular formula shows a difference in their ionization behavior and produce different types of ions in solution then they exhibit ionization isomerism understood see the coordination compounds will be having the same molecular formula but when we are ionizing it or when we are dissolving in a solvent this coordination compounds undergo ionization and it produces ions those ions will be different okay those isomers though they are having same molecular formula the ions produced by the coordination compounds will be differing so when this happens they exhibit ionization isomerism understood students and let me give an example for this the, this is the molecular formula general molecular formula of this coordination compound and we are going to have the two possible isomers now co nh3 5 times br so4 okay see the first isomer CO, this cobalt is linked with chromium. Okay, then five times amino, and this sulfate SO4 is placed outside as a counter ion. Is it not? This is the ionic sphere. Okay, and this is the coordination sphere. You check the next isomer. Uh, isomer of this, this cobalt is linked with bromine here, ammonia here, sulfate here. But here, bromine is going outside the coordination sphere, whereas the sulfate which is placed as a counter ion is coming inside. Understood. So CO SO4 NH3 five times Br. So that's that comes the difference. Okay. Now uh, check the name of this compound. This is pentamine bromido. Since bromine is present inside the coordination sphere, we are calling calling that as bromido and not as bromide. Okay. Bromido cobalt three sulfate. Here, what's the name of the compound? Pentamine. Here, pentamine. Sulfato. Since sulfate is present inside the coordination sphere, we are calling that as sulfato cobalt 3 and this bromine has gone outside so bromide understood so now what we are going to do is we are going to ionize this so when you are ionizing this this undergoes ionization the first compound okay this one this gets ionized and it forms co br nh3 
five times. Two plus, okay, plus SO4, two minus, okay, this we are splitting like this. So, this sulfate ion will be SO4, two minus. Since it is two minus, obviously, here we have two plus, understood. So, now check the uh, ionization of this compound. See, on ionizing this one, we will get CO, SO4, NH3, five times, plus, what is the charge on bromate? Minus, is it not? So, here plus, understood, one plus. See here, see the ionization product. See here, the ions are different, is it not? This SO4, 2 minus we have got, whereas here Br minus. Though the molecular formula is the same, same molecular formula, but the ions produced by this isomers are differing. Understood? That's why they, this uh, is two isomers are exhibiting ionization uh, isomerism. Okay. okay? This will be having a color, red-violet. And uh, this will be, see this will, on the other hand, this will be red in color. Okay, this will be red in color, right. Now this complex, it's in aqueous solution gives a white precipitate. Okay, this gives a white precipitate of barium sulfate with, with barium chloride. Okay? Whereas this compound, this produces silver bromide with silver nitrate. This confirms the presence of bromide ion, understood. So, this shows that two different types of ions are produced, okay, on uh, about ionization. That's why this comes under, this example comes under ionization uh, uh, isomerism, understood. So, fine students, you might have understood the different types of structural isomerism exhibited in coordination complexes. Let us see the different types of stereoisomerism in my next class. Until then, it's Dr. Anita Ra signing off from me. Thanks for watching.